What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now this is probably one of the most requested videos I have ever been asked to make. Now this question I get nearly at the end of every single one of my speeches and it's also probably one of the hardest questions to answer. Earthling Ed has done a very good video on this topic which I'll leave linked down below and I always link Ed's video but I thought I'd do my own. It's about dealing with non-vegan friends and family especially as a new vegan. Now this can be a very difficult topic and it also can be a very hard scenario to be in and everyone goes through it so you're not alone. Now not everyone can sit their whole family down like James Aspie did with one conversation and turn them all vegan. Although that does happen, it's not really re realistic for the majority of us. There's always going to be some um, resistance from friends and family. And for some reason, I don't know what the psychology is behind this, but friends and family are less likely to listen to you. And that's just what I've found from my own experience and a lot of other people have found the same thing. Now, there's no blanket solution for this problem. I can't give you one amazing solution to everyone's issue because everyone's scenario is so unique. Everyone's character is so unique. You might not be able to handle certain situations that other people can. Everyone's family members are very different in their own character. So there's too many variables for me to give you a blanket solution, but I can give you some strategies that will help you. So first off, you have to be a lot more strategic when you're talking with friends and family. You don't really wanna alienate yourself from your friends and family. You don't really wanna create a big argument. So you have to use something called tact. Be very tactful in these situations. Now, one of the most powerful things I do when I'm educating people is called Socratic method. Now, this is the art of asking questions. It's a lot different to sitting there and pumping information down people's throats, especially friends and family. They're gonna find it a little bit overwhelming. You can do that if you feel like the situation calls for it, but if you feel like people are switching off, the best way to educate anyone in any situation, especially friends and family, is to ask them leading questions. Do you think there's a humane way to kill an animal who doesn't wanna die? Do you think there's a humane way to kill anyone if they don't wanna die? Do you think you can be healthy without eating meat and animal products? Are you an animal lover? Asking them leading questions, okay? Make sure you don't look like you're that emotionally invested in this that you're gonna have some kind of you know, aggressive breakdown in front of them. You gotta, you gotta be calm, cool, calm, collected, logical, okay? They don't know the information that you know. I know, I know it can be very hard watching your friends and family eating products that are very bad for their health and that are destroying the environment and that are hurting these innocent sentient beings. That can be a very hard truth to wake up to. It's like you've woken up in the matrix and you can see the truth and your friends and family just can't. But you have to maintain a calm demeanor when you're discussing this with friends and family. You're gonna be in uncomfortable situations. You're gonna be at the dinner table and there's gonna be uh, meat and cheese on the dinner table, but you're gonna bring your vegan food and, and you're gonna say, hey, look at this. This is dairy-free cheese and dairy-free chocolate and vegan meat substitutes, which are awesome, plant-based with no cholesterol, no saturated fat. You know, you're gonna be really positive, shining light. And I think that is probably the best way to do it. Be a positive, calm, shining light and make sure you are very educated on this topic. At the start, inundate yourself with information so that you can answer the questions calmly and respectfully and politely, and then you can chuck a question back to them. A really good way to get experienced at this is to watch either myself, Earthling Ed, James Aspie, some other good YouTubers that do interview style videos and see how we handle the situations and mimic that. But never let your emotion run the conversation. Trust me, it's gonna cause problems and you don't want problems within your friends and family. I mean, unless you've got a really thick skin, unless you don't mind a bit of conflict, that's fine, you can do that. But I think for the majority of people, it's best that we maintain a calm, respectful demeanor. Another great strategy is if your friends and family are less likely to listen to you, then you point them in the direction of a documentary. What the health? Cowspiracy is a fantastic one. Get him on the health and the environment first, maybe. And then bang, maybe a Gary Yarovsky style speech. If Gary Yarovsky is a little bit too full on for them, point him in the direction of James Aspie or Earthling Ed or one of my videos or even Bite Size Vegan, Emily, one of her really educational videos. The content you share with them should be specific to that person's character. If you think your mum's more of a Gary Yarovsky type of personality, then share that with them. If you think she's really into her health, then share what the health with them. 
If you get someone else to tell them, they're more likely to listen. And I'm, I really wish I knew the psychology behind this. If anyone does know the psychology, leave it down below. I wanna tell you a story about some obstacles I faced with my friends and family. And it was with my father, and my father got very sick very quickly. And it was because of lifestyle choices. And the doctors were telling him to eat more bacon, eat more cheese, eat more butter, so he could put some weight on because he had something called Crohn's disease. Now Crohn's disease happens when you have a leaky gut and then dairy proteins get into the blood and you create antibodies which fight these dairy proteins but at the same time they eat away parts of your intestinal tract. Now I knew this, my father didn't. The doctors don't really promote our lifestyle change to, to cure these diseases. They were giving my father chemo radiation therapy in, injected into his veins and then they were feeding him dairy in a feeding bag. And I had to watch my father get bad information from the, the doctors, listen to their advice over mine and I was getting my information from plant-based doctors and it really hurt me. It hurt me to see my dad suffer in front of me because of preventable illness. Now, this was a very big lesson for, for me because my father, he would rather have listened to the doctors than change his lifestyle. And I think my father actually knew but what I was saying had some truth to it but the point is is that you can't convince people to change if they're not ready and you have to come to terms with this it is not your responsibility to turn that person vegan and it's so much harder because you care about them but you have to maintain a zen like state with it you have to realize that you can't control everything you can't control people's lifestyle choices you can only be a shining positive light for them and I learned that the hard way but I want you to know that you are not alone in this and we all go through the same type of problems now there's something I want to talk to you about it's called the 100 point system and this is by an amazing activist who heads vegan friendly in Israel his name's Omri Paz and this will help take some of the burden off of you thinking you have to convert everyone to veganism straight away it's called the 100 point system okay now what it is is someone might have a conversation with you they've never heard about veganism and bang you give them 25 points in that conversation now that same person could be scrolling through Facebook and see a video on the egg industry and bang that would be another 15 points so essentially they're up to another 40 points okay now what happens when they get to 100 points they go vegan okay now you might meet someone on the street they might already have 80 points and you might be that last 20 points for them okay then bang they get to 100 points and they go vegan but the point is it's not your responsibility to turn that person vegan you just need to be that 30 or 40 points now with your friends and family that's what you need to be doing is planting seeds okay now you're not going to convert people straight away not all the time that's not how it works you're probably the first person they've heard this message from what you can be is a shining positive example a shining light and don't let them see you get too angry about it It'd be pretty chilled with them okay take take your time leave documentaries around buy some plant-based milk alternatives buy some vegan alternatives for them to try and watch documentaries with them okay make it a point hey for my birthday mum let's watch this documentary together also I want you all to choose your battles very carefully okay some people can get very aggravated by talking about this and you need to choose your battles use your judgment and social intelligence in situations and really feel the situation to get the best result okay so that would be my advice when it comes to friends and family and like I said there's no blanket solution for this you can only try your best and remember, if you're hanging out with other vegans as well, you're not gonna feel so isolated and alone. If you're getting involved in activism yourself, if like what I did, I just got online, okay? My friends and family weren't listening to me. I was trying to be that shining light of inspiration to people around me, and no one was listening to me. My inspiration was falling on deaf ears. So what I did is I got online and I started talking to a camera and I started spreading that message around everywhere, okay? And now I'm really helping people who wanna hear the message, okay? So you gotta find people who want to hear the message and edify them okay and this is what I've done and this has really helped boost my confidence uh, give me a sense of fulfillment okay and give me a real sense that things are changing and that people are willing to change if you've isolated yourself and you're just hanging out with your non-vegan friends and family you're gonna feel isolated you're gonna feel uh, smothered and you're gonna feel like no one's listening to you but that's why hanging out with other activists doing things with other vegans, okay, chatting with other vegans, looking for support through the vegan community can really help you uh, when it comes to these problems with friends and family. We all go through it, okay? So that would be my advice. I hope this video helps you all really. If anyone's got some really good tips that I've forgotten, leave them in the comments section and let's just make the comments section a community where we can all help each other and share this video with someone who you think's going through some problems with friends and family and let them go through the comments section and maybe we can all support each other as a community about this it's a very hard topic to discuss and like I said there's no one answer that fits all but I hope these strategies can help you all right guys I'll see you all in the next video and peace